A beautiful sunny to get outside and the start of the work week is looking pretty good too. Rob Ellis is back with the real time forecast. Now remember how humid it was early last week and we've really seen things change just over the last 24 to 48 hours where the drier air has moved in and you can see that and that there's nothing showing up on clouds and radar, at least for most of you. A few clouds starting to sneak in from the south and any changes that we're expecting to see here over the next few days will be very subtle, but you will start to notice those changes. Overall temperatures are in the 70s to near 80 degrees. Nothing major moving our way, so we just watch the sunshine warm us up and each and every day that will help to move the temperatures in a positive direction. But at night, well, with clear skies and drier in place, I'll put 64 on the graphic, but you know there's going to be some locations that get much cooler, likely some 50s. In fact, I think the city is probably going to be the warmer spot. Notice a little bit of influence of the lake helping to warm up most of the city as well, in addition to the urban heat island. Uh, but overall, a pretty crisp and comfortable night. There's not a lot going on weather-wise, so it's really nitpicking at this point, the little things that are going to impact our forecast. East winds, that will come right off of the lake. Temperatures able to warm up to near 80 degrees for tomorrow. A lot of sunshine expected and still the humidity should be on the lower side. So the larger picture may show a few of those clouds trying to creep in and some of the moisture trying to creep in as well. But overall, we're looking at pretty quiet conditions for your Monday, and I think this will carry with us for the next couple of days beyond that. It is a quiet. It is a dry forecast, and as some of that moisture tries to move in, it's going to have to overcome some of the drier air. The drier air that's in place is pretty impressive, so I think if we start to see the humidity begin to increase, uh, it will take some time before we start to see some uh, rain chances come out of that. For tomorrow, I think we'll make it up into the low to mid 80s. And each and every day, we may get a little bit warmer than that. There may be some bouncing back and forth between uh, the low to mid 80s. Maybe a little bit of a setback as we look to Friday, but only by a couple of degrees. By next weekend, I think we're going to see the temperature into the upper 70s. But as these temperatures slowly begin to warm up, the one thing you'll notice is that the humidity starts to slowly creep up as well. The two of those are linked together, so we may start to see some of that humidity come back in by Tuesday. Any rain chances are going to be relatively light. I probably could have put a very isolated rain chance in here for Tuesday or Wednesday, but most of the day I think is dry. Again, each day you'll start to notice some subtle changes from sunny skies to mostly sunny skies, maybe adding a couple more clouds by Wednesday. And then I think by Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we'll have to throw some isolated storms back into the mix. Still a bit too early to start talking about any strong storms, but we're going to keep our eye on it as the temperatures are going to move back up. Jim. Rob, thank you.